And welcome back to the factor on Zinjit on this Tuesday night in a breakthrough that could help an epidemic that's plagued the world for decades. Trials for a vaccine to prevent the spread of HIV are underway. Now the research is thanks to advances made while creating the COVID vaccine. We talked to a doctor about this promising news. And joining us now here on the Factor Uncensored is Dr. Taria Richmond, and she's with AIDS Foundation Houston. Dr. Richmond, thank you and welcome to the Factor Uncensored. So this is major news as if Moderna can come up with a viable vaccine for HIV. Tell me a little bit about this. So this is very exciting news. And so uh, Moderna is looking at creating a uh, vaccination and testing the safety of an HIV vaccination based off of um, the technology that they use to develop the COVID vaccination. And so they're gonna be using mRNA, which is um, genetic material to come up, uh, develop a vaccination, hopefully, um, that will prevent the transmission of HIV. But it won't cure people who currently may have HIV. Correct. So we're not speaking of a cure. We're, we are talking about prevention. In fact, um, they are seeking um, people to participate in the study who are HIV uh, negative, who are not living with HIV. And so when we talk about this vaccine, will it, it work uh, similar to uh, COVID-19 where you will have to have several shots uh, or shots maybe each year, depending on um, your exposure? Absolutely. And so um, as we've seen with the, um, the Moderna uh, vaccination vaccine, that we may have to see it where it's developed over time as we see how um, the, the virus responds and behaves. And so it may be multiple um, injections to make sure that the virus is being permitted, prevents it from being transmitted. Now, how important is this breakthrough when it comes to a vaccine for HIV? Because many people have sort of forgotten about HIV and AIDS, and it's fell to the back of the um, uh, news cycle, and many people are not talking about it. Just how significant is this? This is very significant. In fact, um, approximately 1.2 people, 1.2 million people are living with HIV in the U.S and about 13% of the population have no idea. So um, HIV is still a pandemic, we are still an epidemic, and we are, as the AIDS Foundation, um, committed to ending the HIV epidemic, particularly in Houston. So it's not, um, it is not in the, on the back burner. Uh, no, COVID is like the big talk right now, but um, HIV is still an epidemic that we are fighting to end. Now, when we talk about this vaccine that Moderna is working on, how would it affect full-blown AIDS? Okay, so actually, as we talk about HIV being on the back burner, um, we don't we don't hardly ever see full-blown AIDS any longer. So okay. let me explain. So HIV is the virus that um, that causes. Um, infection in the body and um, can lead to what we call end-stage HIV or AIDS. We don't see that anymore because we have uh, medications that work really well to keep um, people virally suppressed so that the virus is not transmitted and also prevents um, opportunistic opportunistic infections from recurring in the body. And those are infections that basically take over the body because the immune system is not strong enough to fight it. We don't see that anymore. Okay. And for those who uh, may have HIV, how are they reacting to this news? Because I know you work at the foundation and you see many people, many clients and, and patients. How are they responding to this, that there's possibly a uh, vaccine? Obviously, those who have it, they have it, they have to live with it and deal with it. But how are they responding? I believe that everyone has hope um, that even if a person is living with HIV, you're living. We know that um, HIV is just like a, another chronic disease like diabetes or high blood pressure. You can take your medications and it's well managed. And for those who are not living with HIV and who are at risk for HIV, there's, there's already medications on the market to help prevent um, HIV, for example, PrEP. Um, pre-exposure prophylaxis. So that's been on, that's been on the market for years now, and we've been able to um, prescribe that medication to prevent the transmission of HIV by a one-a-day 
oral pill. So um, this is it's exciting because it's an injectable, it's an injection, but uh, we've been preventing HIV for a long time now. Another breakthrough from science.